This is dinner tonight. Teriyaki chicken with rice. This teriyaki chicken is like Tyson, I think, but it's frozen and you just put it in the oven for 25 minutes and it's mm, so good. And salad, yum, yum. What's going on out here? Hey. Cutie pie, pootie pies. What are you guys doing? Sitting. Are you guys just being best friends here? Yeah. Try, yeah. try to get me to choke Josie. Uh, it's kind of crowded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely crowded. I'm not even in the chair all the way. <laughs> I just want to squeeze you, buddy. Just want to squeeze you. Me too. Oh, yeah. Put your arm up. Put your arm up. Here, right, Bruce. You got ready for a haircut? Yeah. I'm gonna do a haircut. Let's go. Bruce needs a haircut. Hey guys, how are you doing? So, Bruce and Stacy here, and it's time for his summer haircut. And he kind of showed me a picture of what he wanted, and it was this picture. And I said, Bruce, the top of that is a little bit longer than your hair. And he said, you didn't care about the top, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to show you. How short you want it on yeah. the sides? Yes. Okay, so what do you want me, do you want me to take the top down any? No. No, you like the length it is on the top? Yeah, it's, it's a good length. Okay. Just the back, just. The back and sides? Yeah. Okay, all right, so for this summer haircut, we're just gonna take it down on the back and sides and not, not really do anything with the top. That's one of the advantages of doing that uber short haircut that we did on him last time. His next couple of haircuts might just be the sides and back, trimming them back up. So we're gonna start with the number two guy. First things first, look how long his hair is. Oh my gosh. If there's one thing that Bruce can do really well, it is grow hair because it comes out so long, so thick, so fast. So yeah, we definitely need to trim this up some, at least on the sides and back. He likes that real neat, military-ish kind of look, so he doesn't like it when it gets long and poofy on the sides. At least for now, that's what he's into, so who knows what'll happen as he gets older. For now, we'll keep it pretty short on the back and sides most of the time. He's got this area right here that likes to stand straight out all around. So I'm gonna take it down a little shorter right here just so that it's not standing straight up all the time. Bruce's hair is so thick that sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm worried about going through it with these clippers that it's gonna like get stuck in there. But I take good care of my tools, so they always make it. <laughs> But you know, be careful if you're trimming someone's hair with clippers and they have real thick hair because it very easily can get caught up in there. And that is not fun for the person getting their hair cut. It can really pull. <laughs> Bruce has a double crown in the back, which is very similar to a cowlick. And I always recommend either going short enough where it can stand straight up, but it doesn't look like it's sticking out just because you cut it so short or leaving it long enough where it has enough weight to hold itself down. If you don't do one or the other, it's gonna just stand up and stand straight out and look wild and crazy. I'm just gonna do the last of my clipper blending here. Go around the ridge of the haircut one more time, going just straight up and trying to get all of the line, if you will, out of there. Once I do that, then I use my comb to push it down to get any extra bulk at the top out. Man, so, so, so much hair on this teenage boy. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go down to the one guard and just blend that up into this. 
What is it, baby? I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Bubby, I love you. I love you too, Charlie. Are you sorry for being mean to Bubby? I am. I said, yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. Did you hear? Yeah. So now I'm just blending that one guard up as high as I can and pondering how the middle and the oldest child seem to have the most rocky relationship right now. I think it's because they're both so stubborn and Josie's just so easygoing. She gets along with everyone. But these two, I'm hoping it's just a phase they'll grow out of or if there's a way I can teach them to use their similarities to bond. <laughs> And then when they become adults, they'll be very close. Ah, oh, this is a mother's wish, right? Oh, I think this part's pretty satisfying because you can see right there where it's just too long. And I'm pointing at my screen as I'm saying this. <laughs> and then just to get it all yeah, right there, get that. Oh, that's satisfying. Get that gone. And that little bit right there. Oh, yes. I love cutting hair. It's so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna want to shower after this. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently for the school um, graduation promotion thing, uh -huh. have to wear have to wear nice and like dress dress pants. Okay. I don't know if I have it. I'll wear your uniform. Yeah. You got black uniform pants, don't you? But I can't wear jeans. No. <laughs> I really, really, really love a nice clean line around the edges after a haircut. I just think it makes it look so sharp. And sometimes it's hard for me to do that perfectly on a video because I like to stand right in front of it and I don't want to block the camera. So I don't know, eventually I might come up with a different kind of camera rig for doing these haircuts. <laughs> My creative juices are flowing, I'm thinking, the whole time, okay guys? But, oh, that looks so much better. You can already, oh man, so much different. Getting that clean line, even as short as a one guard, still having that clean line makes a big difference. I mean, it only makes a big difference for like a day and a half, because <laughs> by then it's already grown back out, but for that day and a half, it's a big difference. Now, if I was going to do the haircut that he showed me in the beginning, I would not be doing this step because it was so much longer on the top. It even had a little pompadour in the front. And so we're not doing that. I'm trimming it all down because he's like, I don't really care about it being that long on the top. So I'm trimming it shorter and blending it in a little more because he is so prone to those headphone lines in his hair because he wears headphones so often. So we're taking a little shorter. Also it gets all that sticking out stuff in the back. <laughs> Make just all overall lower maintenance. And that's that's what we want, especially in the summer, low maintenance. Your 
I have a bruise. So. Oh, do you? Yes, I hit my head. Oh. What'd you hit your head on? The doorknob. Sitting down in the desk. It was right next to the door that isn't supposed to be opened or closed. And I was laying my head down. Wait a minute. It's not supposed to be opened or closed? It's supposed to be closed on me. Oh. That's <laughs> like, what? I was going to say it's not supposed to be open. It's meant to be closed. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm using the thinning shears now. in right here just a little bit so it doesn't look too heavy where it's grown out so much in between haircuts. Tell her the bad guy in a suit, Man of Steel. You look like the bad guy in Man of Steel? <laughs> just sending my hair to be a little more greasy. <laughs> Let's not go for that, shall we? <laughs> That looks good. You can put a little gel in it and push it over, which I know you will never do, but you could if you decide if you wanted to. Well, I don't have any, so. Oh, really? Are you no, out? No, I don't have, I never got any gel. Well, I used to have some in there. I'll get you some. Hey guys, it's the next day, and I just wanted to show you real quick because we're going to Bubby's eighth grade promotion. I guess they call it promotion now instead of graduation. But it's kind of a big deal because next year he'll be in high school. Oh yeah, and me too. You'll be in high school next year? Mm -hmm. Charlie will be in preschool next year. So I'll have a, a preschooler, an elementary age kid, and a high schooler. <laughs> Got my hands full. All right, let's go see Bubby get promoted. I did this with the eighth grade because it helps them to read the music. And because I have on here all their little notes with their colors and everything and they gotta write, they've gotta play at the right time when I point to the note or at the right rhythm. Um, and I did this with them because though they love music, they, they very much love music, they don't necessarily like singing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we figured that they would enjoy this much better and I think so far. favorite subject was, is science, because of all the fun experiments we did. I like to thank my family and Mr. K9 for helping me with Shirley English. Like Genesis 5, 24 says, Enoch walked faithfully in God, and he was no more. I plan on to continue to walk faithfully in God throughout high school and throughout my life. Promotion is over. How was it, Charlie? Yeah, the kids did great. They had some nice treats afterward. Charlie did a great job sitting there being so good. I was so proud of you, Charlie. Yeah, I'm being so tired. You were. You were perfect. And so, Grandmother and Bruce went to get lunch together to celebrate. And so now it's just me and Charlie going home for a little while until it's time to go pick up 
Josie after school. <sighs> then we're going to Poppy and Nini's. Then we're going to Poppy and Nini's. I know, we are just gad about town, aren't we? So that's it for the promotion. I also wanted to share a little bit of an uh, interview with Bruce with you. Bruce is so cute when he's doing his laundry. There goes the sock. He's bringing his laundry down the stairs right now to the basement. Because yes, ladies and gentlemen, my 14-year-old does his own laundry. It's possible, isn't it, Bruce? It's heavy, huh? I had to stand on it to get it all in there. And it's still not all of it's not in there. I just run out of Yeah. Oh my goodness, careful, you're gonna break See? you're gonna break that basket. We'll take it in the laundry room and then come back and I wanna chat with you for just okay. a minute. Such a good boy. It's really bright. Okay, good. Your knee's not hitting anything. Nope. <laughs> Look at that haircut. How do you like it? Yes, I like it. Feel good? Yeah. Oops. Fresh. Feels fresh. It does look a lot fresher because it was getting awful puffy on the sides there. Yeah. Do you feel like you still look like the bad guy from... Uh... No. <laughs> that was just how it was all combed down and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just wanted to chat with you a bit because people love you, you have fans, and, and I thought they might want to hear a little bit about things from your perspective. Um, I don't have questions prepared, so I know that you love being unprepared, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> not really. God, Bruce does not like when things are not organized well. I think that's pretty typical for most people. So first question, What's it like to have your mom cut your hair? Well, I can't really base it off anything else because I never really had any other experiences. When you were two years old, one year old, the first time I cut your hair, I would cut it in the bathtub because that way I could just rinse the water, the hairs right off of you. And you were just, you know, moving a lot because you were a toddler. So. Yeah. It was just a lot easier than trying to put a cape on you and all that stuff. What is the most favorite haircut you've ever had? I only had a really... Well, I didn't really have a lot of haircuts, so I guess this one, because I didn't really have any others that I can remember. Remember when you grew your hair out long? Oh, yeah. Or do you try to forget that? Or did you like that? I didn't... It, it, was, more, it was annoying. It was annoying? It was like a... We were going for like a long hair, Brad Pitt, uh, John Wick kind of thing, <laughs> but we learned how much work is involved. I'll let them comment some questions down oh. below. Oh, if you have any other questions for Bruce, he said put them in the comments, I'll ask them and we'll do this again. But in the meantime, I guess that's it. I think your hair looks great, bub. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We love you so much. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay, Bruce.